Hello friends and welcome back to another interesting term from the media family in our media dictionary edition which is voting. As the election fever picks up, we find request for voting in favor of one particular party or a leader. Do you know interestingly that voting started in 508 BC and the interesting aspect is that voting in those times was not done on a paper ballot or by raising a hand or through an electronic voting machine. It was actually done by using the broken pieces of clay pottery on which the people who wanted to select or cast their vote used, wrote the name of the chosen candidate. The other interesting aspect is that we in our democracy are only aware about one type of voting but voting actually has seven types the first is the approval vote in an approval voting all the candidates are receiving one vote from all the people who cast their vote the people who select cast one vote each for the candidate and they do not cast any vote for the candidate whom they don't like. The second form of voting is called the popular vote. A popular vote is kind of a vote which is used in direct election to find out the popularity of the candidate. It is also used as a mechanism of excluding the non-popular candidates who generally contest and to save lot of time and money and energy on ensuring that the right and popular candidate get the mandate. The third is the direct vote. This direct vote is used whenever there is an electoral college which needs to select and it is limited. Other interesting form is called the instant running of voting. In this, the voters choose not one but two and three candidates by casting a vote as a choice for the first, second and third candidate. This again is done with keeping in mind the efficiency of the system and making it more democratic. It is popular in countries where two party democracy is there and the third candidate generally is an independent. And the person who gets the maximum number of votes is chosen to represent the people. The fifth part of voting is a fusion voting. Interestingly, many candidates want to contest from multiple constituencies under different banners. At one constituency, they may be fighting on a banner or a symbol of a single party. In another constituency, they may be contesting on a coalition candidate. In other constituency, they may have a tie-up with two or three other candidates to ensure that the opposition candidate votes are divided. Other aspect which we now commonly see is a cross voting. In a cross voting scenario, a person who is casting a vote, maybe an elected or an electorate, may cast a vote against the party through which he or she has been elected. This is generally seen in a Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha, the upper house or the lower house of parliament. None other than this interesting is nota, which is a form of negative voting. Interesting aspect of it is that when a negative voting exceeds the number of votes which have been cast for independent candidates, the entire election gets cancelled and you have to re-elect your candidates. I hope you like the information on voting, types of voting and will surely go to vote so that we have a good leader representing us whenever the results come. Generally, people avoid voting. It is not only a right, but it is also a responsibility. Till we look eagerly to find the results of the general elections, I wish you all the best and look forward for you 
to like, subscribe and share and be a part of our Media Dictionary family. Thank you.